is between point four and negative three and x axis equal what? If you want to find the distance between point and x axis, you can find the absolute value of y about four and negative three absolute value of y here we have x and y it will be absolute value of negative three it will be three why because this point four here and negative three lies in the what in the fourth quadrant you won't find the distance between this point and x axis this tensors here will be what parallel to this line segment here will be what will be negative three this side then the absolute value about negative three it will be three understood then if you want the distance between point and x-axis you must find the absolute value of y if you want to find the distance between point and y-axis you must find the absolute value of x okay right the inverse of the world okay question number two we have two sine 30 cosine 60 Sine 30, half. Cosine 60, half. The result would be half. Next question. The slope of straight line which makes the positive direction with x axis angle 0 in which uh, angle theta, sine theta, he give us sine theta equal 4 over 5. We can draw right angle triangle here and this angle theta sine it will be opposite over hypotenuse and this adjacent will be what we can find the side lines 5 power 2 subtract 4 power 2 and then find the difference between them result 25 minus 16 will be 9 square root of 9 it will be 3 centimeter this one centimeter then we can find 10 theta will be opposite over adjacent the result will be 4 over 3 okay the result will be 4 over 3 because you want to find the slope and the slope equal 10 of theta this angle opposite of it 4 and the hypotenuse 5 adjacent 3 then 10 theta it will be opposite over adjacent will be 4 over 3 okay next question here letter b find the equation of set line in which you cut from two axis active vertex lines 4 and 9 we have 4 and 9 cut here this uh, 4 and 9 then the equation will be x over 4 plus y over 9 equal 1 we can write the equation of straight line which cut from two axis activity parts of lines 4 and 9 this is the equation or you can simply set by product the least multiplication between 4 and 4 and 9 it will be 36 36 divided by 4 equal 9 9 36 divided by 4 equal what equal 9 9 times x will be 9x and 36 divided by 9 equal 4 4 times y it will be 4y and 36 times 1 it will be 36 okay this form or this form as you like about this equation question here mm, shows the correct answer number one a b c d is a square we have a b c d square and the point a equals three and five and the point b was uh, four and two then the slope of b c okay we know any sides in square are equal lenses we have a b c and d and give us order of a and b and you want to find the slope of p c here okay we know e b was perpendicular to p c because each angles of square equal 90 degree then e b perpendicular to b c is its meaning measure of e b product by mm, m here versus slope slope of a b product slope of b c equal what negative one then we can find slope of a b by using the rule y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 2 minus 5 over 4 minus 3 2 minus 5 it will be negative 3 4 minus 3 1 then the slope here it will be negative 3 then the slope of pc it will be the inverse about negative 3 over 1 it will be 1 over 3 right the inverse about the result the result here was negative 3 over 1 Will be negative 3 the slope of ap then the slope of pc it will be the inverse about result and the change the sign it will be 1 over 3 understood because there are perpendicular he give us uh, the result here 
no he gave him okay i will solve it again to actually the result okay we have e b c and d square okay he give us a was three and five and d equal four and two he want to find the slope of bc okay we can find the slope of a b again solve again two minus five over four minus three it will be what two minus five negative three over one the result will be negative three then slope of we want to find the slope of what p c pay attention with me p c p c it will be the inverse about this number and change the sign third not the result the result here was false okay you must write this result one over three if you want to find the slope of opposite a b c d slope here of dc it will be equal slope of a b it will be equal negative 3 exactly but he want to find slope of bc then the slope bc inverse about this slope here negative 3 and here it will be 1 over 3 question letter number 2 in triangle abc measure of angle a to p to c equal 1 2 3 then sine b equal okay we can write ratio between uh, angle a to angle b to angle c give us the ratio 1 2 3 I put a known here x and x and x we know sum of all inter angles in a triangle equal 180 then x plus 2x plus 3x equal 180 x plus 2x is 3x 3x plus 6x 6x equal 180 and then we can divide it by 6 then x equal 30 degrees the measure of x here equals 30 degree then you can find angle b because you want to find sine p b here equal 2 times 30 equals 60 degree then we can find sine 60 it will be root 3 over 2 the result will be root 3 over 2 about this example because we found here angle p equals 60 degree then sine 60 equal root 3 over 2 question here uh, if the straight line y equal x sine okay we have equation about straight line y equal x sine 30 plus k we can simply set sine 30 equal half right half x plus k then the slope here will be equal half and then passing through the point this straight line passing through the point four and six then point here pulling between this straight line then we can put four and what four and six put this point is a straight line we have x and y put y equal six and x here equal four half product by four plus k then six equal half four two two plus k then k will be equal four k will be equal what four understood these steps we have equation in simplest form and put the point here to find the value of k k will be equal 4 here next question from the opposite figure we want to find the length of dc and tan angle edb first we will draw the trapezium here this trapezium and we have hypotenuse on this angle right ap cd it was 10 centimeter six centimeter and we can find the length of ed we can find from Pythagoras ed equals square root of 10 power 2 100 subtracted by 6 power 2 three, 6 it will be 64 square root of 8, eight centimeter it will be 8 centimeter here and then we can find tan angle adb this angle we called it ADB then ADB equal opposite over what over adjacent opposite 6 over adjacent 8 6 over 8 you can divide it by 2 it will be 3 over 4 and then we can find the length of DC you want to find the length of DC here 
Now we found the length of DC here. We can draw this line signal parallel to this and this to the six centimeter and here eight centimeter. Okay, and you can find the length of this. Or you can write 10 power 2 equal 8 to react by this Euclides. Isolate. You can find the length of C in here by using Euclides. We know 6 power 2 equals 6. Okay. From this triangle here, 6 power 2 equal 8 product by cm then we can find cm 6 power 2 it will be 36 divided by 8 by using calculator to find the length of this line and we have this right angle here we can find this find this okay as uh, the next step now i will find cm 36 divided by 8 36 divided by 8 the result will be a 9 divided by 2 it will be 4.5 centimeters this 4.5 centimeters this side length here and then you can find CD from FISA horse, right square root of 6 uh, here power 2, this side and this side, 6 power 2, plus 4.5 power 2. Right, here in the calculator, 6 uh, power 2 plus 4.5 power 2. And then you can find square root of answer, it will be 15.2, the result will be 7.5 centimeters. Then CD equal 7.5. Okay, next question, number three, without using calculator, find uh, or prove that left hand side, right hand side, 10 power 2 60, it's uh, left hand side and right hand side here, uh, 10 power 2, we can draw right angle triangle here, 30 and 60, 1, and 2 and the root 3 then 10 uh, power 2 60 we can write 10 of 60 opposite over adjacent root 3 over 1 it will be root 3 or power 2 the result is 3 and right hand side here we have mm, sorry uh, I will complete with you we have 10 power 2 60 subtract 10 Complete with me 10 power 2 45. Okay, complete with me from this right angle triangle isosceles to be 1 and 1 and root 2, then 10 power 2 45. Then 45 it will be 1, 1 power 2 equal 1. Then we have 1 power 1 will be 1. Then the left hand side will be root 3 power 2 it will be 3 subtract by 1 equal 2 and what about right hand side right hand side here we have 4 sine 30 4 product sine 30 equal half half times 4 equal 2 then left hand side it will be equal right hand side it will be equal to next question a b c d square and o c equal 5 centimeter and C is the midpoint of AP. Uh, find the coordinate of the point A, B, C, D. Okay, I will draw a square. Be attention about this example. We have here a square. Here. Look at with me about the square. All sides are equal lengths. This square. Okay, you must draw it exactly. The draw here. And they give us uh, C is the midpoint. Yes, this point is the uh, middle. Okay, first step I will draw here this square. Okay, number five letter E is the point E three and X. Point B four and one, and C five and three are collinear. Find the value of x. We have three points A, B, and C in the same straight line. We have the collinear three points here. Then the slope about A, B will be equal to the slope about B, C. Okay, we can find the slope of E, B. We have point A was three and x, and point B. 4 and 1 and point C was 5 and 
3. Between E and B, we can write 1 minus X over 4 minus 3. It will be 1 subtract by X over 1. And we can find stop of P, C, straight line B, C. B and C, we can write 3 minus 1 over this number 5 minus 4. 3 minus 1 will be 2 over 1. The result will be 2. And then we have three point is a synchronous. Then the stop of AB will be equal stop of BC. We can find the result by simplest result to find the value x. Here we can write 1 minus x over 1 equal 1. Uh, 2 over 1 equal 2 will be 2. Then 1 minus x will be equal to then x will be moved here and 1 minus 2 it will be negative 1 then the value of x it will be negative 1 it was question number 5 next question here letter p we have right angle triangle here right angle triangle and this side perpendicular to the base we called it D E and here P and point A here and this point we called it C okay this point was C and he gave us uh, it was 13 centimeter and it was 5 centimeter he won't find a uh, 10 P okay we know 10 B equal opposite over hypotenuse, we can write DE over AB it was 10P, okay, opposite over adjacent in the first triangle. And we know 10B equal from greatest triangle, opposite over adjacent, we can write AC over adjacent 5 plus 13, it was 18, okay, then EC over what over 18 it's 10 angle of b okay and he give us de we know this angle will be congruent or equalities angles of it will be what we have two triangles equality the similar about triangle we have the similar between triangle b d e similar to we have b d e and p c a the measure of angle B will be equal what? Measure of angle B be common between them and this angle will be equal this angle here. Uh, B D C B D C okay above it it was E okay B D E B D E here will be equal what? B D E equal P C A and because we have uh, two angles equal in measure E equal E and uh, P is a common angle between two triangles we have similarity between them then AC over 18 equal DE over EP we have DE here and they tell us the side lengths equal side lengths and then you can write equality between two ratio here DE over DE over ED we can write here X and here X then the ratio between them DE, DE it will be X and EB it will be DE. Here it will be what? DE or EB. Then it will be opposite over adjacent. DE over EB. DE over EB. It's the half of this length. Quality between two ratio here. DE equal DE over AB equal AC over 18 and from this relation we can write the ratio between BD over PC equal DE over CA equal EP over AB okay and then you can convert here DE over EB and it will us quality here we can cancel CE CE 
and EB write one on one, the ratio between them one and one. And if we put EB here X, we can cancel here and write X, and AP was 18 equal DE over CA, DE over CA, we don't know the side length here, and BB, P, D was 13, okay, BD 13, and P, C, we don't know it, right to X. Then you can find the value of X here between two ratio. Two times X, it will be two X power two, and 13 times 18 cross between them. And then you can divide it by two to simplify it, then X power two, it will be 13 times eight. 13 product it was what 13 because 13 here times 18 equal what 13 times 18 13 times 18 divide 18 18 divided by 2 equal 9 9 times 3 then 3 times 9 27 right 7 and the carry up to 1 times 9 equal 9 plus 2 equal 11 then x will be square root of 170 Okay, then he won't find 10p. 10b, it will be opposite over adjacent. We can find the value here. It will be square root of 170. Then you can find the length here, de from Pythagoras. 13 power 2. Subtract by 119. Square root of it, it will be 117. Power 2, power this, and this. Find the difference. It will be 100. 96 subtract by 117 it will be 16 and here it's 16 minus 7 it will be 9 and 8 minus 1 will be 7 then we can find 10 angle p opposite here square root of the result here d e equal root square root of 9 over square root over 117 Okay, the result will be square root of 79 over square root of 117, it's 10 angle P. Okay. Understood? Again, solve this again example to understood. Okay, I will solve this example again to know the steps. He give us in the example. This side length equals this side length. I put here x and here x, okay? And then you can write 10b or the ratio between a two triangles similar. We have first triangle E, P, C, similar to this triangle here. A congruent to E, and B is a common E, P, D. Okay, then we can write the ratio E, P over E, P equal B, C equal over PD equal CA over DE. Then we can write the result AP here 5 plus 18, it will be 18, and EPX, AD, and PD, we don't know it. Okay, then we can write CA, CA, we don't know, and DE, we don't know it. Then we can write BC, PC where PCX, okay, and BD. B, B, C, X plus X, it will be to X over B, D, 13. Then 2 X power 2 equals 13 times 18. Then X power 2 equal 10 divided by 2, it will be 13 times 9. Okay, 13 times 9. Then X square root over 13 times 9. 3 times 9, 27, right, 7, and the carry up to 1 times 9 equal 9 plus 2 equal 11. And the value of x here is square root of 117. Then we can find E, D from Fisa Wars, raise 13 power 2, subtract by 117 power 2 root of it. The result will be 169. 169 subtract by 117 9 minus 7 equal 
2 and 6 minus 1 equal to okay the result will be 22 square root of 22 here then we can write 10 e square root of 22 over square root over 170.